babes welcome back so for today's video i wanted to do um another like 99 cent store makeup trying out 99 cent store makeup it's from the same brand of my last video from the smoke and mirrors um makeup brand that's like you could usually find it at the 99 well i always find it there um but yeah so i found a couple like newer things than they had last time so I went ahead and picked those up so we can see how they are together let me go ahead and show you guys everything I picked up okay, so I have um, this glowing skin highlighter I have everything still in the packaging I'll take it out once we try it so this is in the color Lunar it looks so pretty perfect sheen bronzer and cocoa have this i don't know why i picked this up but i mean i guess we can try it out to see how it sets the brows um but i have this lightweight and flexible formula caramel well in the color caramel brow gel so picked up this liquid highlighter in the color sunbeam i don't know why i chose this color but it looked nice and then recently, the other day, I picked both of these up because these are a little bit more newer and different packaging. This matte lip gloss in the color Dreamer. I feel like it's a little bit too pale of a nude for me, so I might have to put a darker lip liner on for this. And then I also picked up Mentel this metallic eyeshadow in Night Divine. Let's go ahead and try everything out on the face. It looks kind of light, but so, oh my god, it smells like baby powder. Mm, it's really like a really pretty color though. Looks like a really nice, like, sun-kissed bronzer color. It's really nice. Pimple. Excuse me, pimple. <laughs> I don't know why I've been breaking out lately. I think it's because of the gym, but... I don't know. Looks like a really pretty color. I like it. I like it. Never judge a book by its color <laughs> or by its smell. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the highlighter, which looks like this. <laughs> looks pretty nice. Should I swatch it? I should have swatched the bronzer too. Looks pretty. I mean, for a dollar, it looks pretty good, right? Come near here. No. What the heck? That does not look like dollar quality. Looks pretty good. It's pretty good. I did not want the brush or anything. I dipped my nose in it. This, this one smells like baby powder too, but it's pretty. Put some of that in my inner corner. Yeah, I'm so mad at myself. I forgot that I wanted to try the liquid highlighter. Oh, and now I can't put it all. I can't put it over it because it's already powder and I already set my face and everything. <sighs> Mama's watch it for you guys, anyways. Okay. Mm. That's not bad. Looks pretty sparkly. Bring it out. Oh, 
next pair. Now let's see how it would look if I were to put the highlighter over it. So liquid highlighter and highlight and just highlight. They look about the same. Oh, uh, this one looks more pinkish think, in person. So the one I'm most excited for is the glitter. It looks so pretty, sparkly. I'm scared to use it. <laughs> Pretty. It's like a glossy glitter type of formula. What's the focus? See, kind of like. I don't know if you can see that. So let's go ahead and try that glitter on the eye. No, I'm nervous. I'm scared. I don't know if I should do it with the brush or just use the applicator and then my finger. Mm, maybe one side the applicator and blend it out with my finger. Then the other side we'll go ahead and try a brush to see which one works better. So far, so good. I'm sorry if you can hear my kids watching TV in the other room. It's the only way to keep them occupied. This is actually pretty easy to use. It's really pretty. Like if you were to set it with a glitter shadow, it would be pretty nice. Because it still feels pretty wet. I'm going to see how it is when it dries. But it feels pretty, pretty wet. It looks like it kind of removes the shadow from the bottom though because I did set my lid with um, a, like a nudish color, a skin tone color and it like the colors on the applicator so just keep that in mind. Oh damn it, it transferred too. Mmm, it's up opening my eye. Yeah, it's like if you try to blend it out with your finger, it kind of like removes it. Like there's more glitter really left here. It's just like it looks like glue residue. Like I don't know, that does not look good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this brush that I use to clean up my eyebrows sometimes. The one on my f on my hand like dried up. It's like a little bit patchy, but it dried up and it's like not, doesn't really move that much. So I suggest, I guess, like leaving it, like leave it set on your eye before you try to blend it out. Just like let it dry on its own. And maybe don't open your eye until it dries so it won't transfer to the top. It doesn't feel um so wet when you when you as you're blending it out with the brush. But it still looks the same, like it removes everything like from the bottom like whatever eyeshadow you have on the bottom it kind of removes i guess because it's like like really really wet let's go ahead and let that dry and see how it turns out because i can't see that well with one eye it already feels dry but it looks like it looks like 
dried up glue like when I'm looking in the mirror it looks like like if I put glitter and glue together and like put it on my eye like you know how when glue dries like the like white edges and so that's kind of how it looks <laughs> I thought it was gonna be so pretty I had high hopes <laughs> You see, like, just like this, like, it looks like dried up glue around it. <sighs> well, I guess you get what you pay for. This side still looks a little bit better than this side, though. You know, I tried their lipstick last time in my last video, and the, li the lipstick was actually pretty good. But, I mean, this color is, like, super, super light. Like, it's kind of the color of my dress. So, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be it like it's too pale for me but i don't know let's go ahead and try it if i look like i have concealer lips oh well this video is already a fail with the glitter <laughs> let me swatch this one oh it's like a peachy nude okay yep concealer lips i told you <laughs> They also have glosses. I should have got the gloss. Look at that. Where did my lips go? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try this lip liner over it. This is the J-Cat Beauty Waterproof Gel Lip Liner in So Fond of You. It's a kind of color, so... Okay, so I went ahead and blended out the lipstick. I made it kind of okay because it blended in like with a lip liner like it bl everything blended out together but um it's like the lipstick is like ugh, it's really sticky and like ugh. I just threw like a gloss on top of it my lipstick got super checked up and these pimples don't help but anyways the gloss I threw on top was um the, the from the balm it's called read my lips I don't know it smells like bubblegum though. <laughs> and then so for the glitter, I kind of fix it a little bit. I forgot that you can like, what's it called? Like I, s I forgot what it's called. I swear I thought about the word, but I completely forgot. Um, Like, you know, since it dried, I put like another layer. There we go. I forgot you can layer stuff. So on this side, I kind of like layered it and it looks kind of okay. And this side, this side is the side where it looked all messed up and I layered it too. So from afar, it looks nice, <laughs> but not from close. So I suggest if you guys want to try the glitter out to go ahead and apply it with a brush, blend it out with a brush, let it dry and then layer another layer <laughs> so it can look kind of decent. But we'll go ahead and try it on one eyebrow. This, this is the jacked up side. Let me do this one. <laughs> oh no. It's not a bad color. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it changes the color to your brows. Like if you already have an eyebrow pencil on. But it kind of is making my hair stand up, like since I brushed it out. My hairs are standing up. But yeah, this one looks more brushed out than this one. I guess we could go ahead and try on this side too. It's an okay brow gel. I wonder how it would look on its own. Anyways guys, that's the end of trying stuff out. My lips look horrible. The eyes look semi-okay. The palette I used on my eyes was um, the Morphe 350, the original one. Hence the O. 350. <laughs> and um, so for the stuff that I would recommend, I would definitely recommend both of these. These were probably my favorite items out of everything I picked up 
and like i didn't have high hopes for these but they were pretty good i don't know how to give you my thoughts on the liquid highlighter because i didn't really get to use it on my face but i mean it looked pretty decent like it does dry like you know it does blend out and dry pretty okay later i don't know go ahead and try it out for yourself i mean like i said everything's a dollar so it's like you don't lose out on that much so if you want to go ahead and try the glitter go ahead and try it out i definitely recommend how i said you use a brush let it dry and then layer it it does look pretty decent especially from afar <laughs> and the brow gel was okay you need something just to set your eyebrows it look it seems pretty fine lipstick is a definitely no go no go <laughs> but yeah guys so this wraps up the end of my video you guys enjoyed it and um i mean i enjoyed doing this video like i was so excited to try everything out to see how everything worked and i mean most of the stuff surprised me i had high expectations for the glitter because it looked really 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 pretty but i mean i mean it's not 100% bad, you know, um, I keep repeating myself and rumbling. I don't know how to end this damn video <laughs> I'm hungry. It's hot And um, yeah, but I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. I'm bye